This is a cat coffee shop, which is called Cat and a Cup in the middle of Chiang Rai that I visited. Um, they have a lot of cats. They're beautiful cats. The drink and the pastry, it was average quality. Uh, but the the ambience and just be there and spending time with the cats was very good. You have to take off your shoes and you sit on the floor. They also had a few chairs. Um, so many beautiful cats and they have certain rules you need to follow when you are there. For example, you cannot move the cats. You don't uh, grab their tails. Like common sense rules. Um, it was a lot of fun. I recommend it going there if you are in Chiang Rai. These type of coffee shops are very common in Thailand. So in every city you go, they have at least one of these in Phuket, in Bangkok. Uh, so if you don't go to Chiang Rai, most likely any city you are, even in Chiang Mai, you can find these type of coffee shops. Uh, the concept started in Japan and Thailand copied the concept from Japan. Uh, and they started uh, opening a bunch of these coffee shops and they became very popular. It's a lot of fun going and sitting there for a few hours and hanging out with the cats. Here for a smoothie and a brownie, I paid about $5 compared to other coffee shops in Thailand. That's a little bit overpriced, but they charge more because of the, of the cats, not because of the quality. These are the rules, which is on each table, a very common sense um, that you don't move the cats, you don't put them in your purse, you don't hold their um, tail, you don't disturb them when they're asleep, you don't feed them sweet and sugar, uh, common sense ru uh, rules that everyone has to follow. I say that this hotel one night in Chiang Rai, uh, the hotel wasn't that great. It's a very old building. It's clean, but um, there was a smell to the room, which I couldn't get used to that. I don't know if is that the cleaning supply they use or because it's such an old property, there has it has a smell to that, which is not pleasant. Uh, the breakfast was included. Breakfast was very, very good, surprisingly. Uh, but the hotel, the room, I'm glad that I stayed only one night. I think it was over price for uh, i paid about 60 us dollars for one night but it was because it was a new year's eve new year's if all the hotel they increased their rate i don't think this is 60 dollars on a regular um, day because it's not a fancy hotel but the location is okay it's walking distance to most of the restaurants you still have to walk about 10 minutes to get to the restaurants is not right in the middle of hustle and bustle but it's close enough 